So I recently directed and DOP'd a commercial for a pretty large company called Super Pedestrian, and this video is all about how that came about and how I begun to work on this project. Now, if you do want to watch this commercial, I'll put a link to it down in the description. Obviously, I'm going to be referencing it quite a bit, so it's probably beneficial that you check it out. And next time you see one of these scooters out on the streets, just remember to think of me. That's really narcissistic. So first, let me quickly tell you how this came about, because I think it's quite interesting. A guy called Ross emailed me back in March of 2020, saying that he had seen my Porsche 911 film. He really, really liked it and he wanted to shoot something car related but unfortunately it just didn't pan out because of 2020 reasons fast forward to march of 2021 and i get an email from a ross at super pedestrian and he explains that he is the same ross from before and that he's just joined the marketing branch of super pedestrian and he's kept me in mind from our previous conversations about making car films and now he wants a commercial made to show off their new electric scooters. Now this is so cool to me because it shows how passion projects and spec work can translate to real and interesting jobs. Somehow that film I made of David's Porsche 911 ended up on Ross's feed. He clicked on it, he liked it, and now here I am. Anyway, with the super pedestrian scooters being branded as Link scooters, Ross really wanted to play on the things that link us. This wasn't going to be an infomercial or a product explainer, he wanted us to focus more on what a link really is, lean into the symbolism and produce a sweet and warm film. Which brings you on to a really important point about making commercials and doing filming projects for clients, and that is communication. As filming style, mood, atmosphere, and all those kind of intangibles are so difficult to describe, especially for someone who isn't a filmmaker, it's your job as the director to ensure that you properly understand what the client is asking for and then effectively communicate your vision for the project so that you're both on the same page now i do just want to mention that when you're working with an agency and you're communicating with them i imagine this process is completely different and if anyone out there is watching this who has worked with an agency and can describe that process down in the comment section i would love to hear it because I'm incredibly curious. Anyway, coming back to the communication and actually working out the plan for this project, the way that I tend to achieve this is first off by obviously listening to the client and their ideas and then sending them references that I think match up with those ideas. Now this will be work that I personally love that I personally really want to shoot, but I also feel matches the brief in some way. I will send cinematography references, color references, mood references, story references, anything and I will ask if this is the sort of thing that they had in mind. So one thing that I found from the conversations that I had with Ross is that he really likes commercials that follow storylines in a montage fashion. So a little bit of non-linear editing and some heavy time skips and not a whole lot of dialogue. I'll put some references down in the description so you can see what I'm talking about if you're not quite understanding. So with that preference in mind, that is the route that I decided to go down. So now it is time for the treatment process to begin. It is worth mentioning that this is the best case scenario. Generally speaking in the past, I have sent off treatments without really communicating too much with the client about ideas and things. And I'm kind of pitching a project to them. Like, this is my idea. I hope you like it. But in this situation, Ross had a really good plan for what he wanted the commercial to be. So it made sense for me to communicate with him beforehand so that when I wrote the treatment, it was in line with what he had in mind. Now, the treatment is an incredibly important document for both you and the client because it essentially outlines how the project will look, how the project will feel, the story, all, all the elements are kind of condensed down into this one document. It starts with a girl in love, then unfortunately she breaks up with her boyfriend and she's being comforted by her sister. It then shows her and her sister goofing around together and having fun. Uh, and then the older sister eventually moves out and we see her reminiscing about the past and fond memories with her sister, and then it shows her coming back home to spend time with her. Each scene features a subtle link, and the link scooter is what connects and links all of the scenes together. So it, it's basically all one big link. After a few back and forths over story details, the treatment was approved, but it is worth mentioning that even after this treatment has been sent off, I was still trading references here and there with Ross right the way up to the day of shooting. Now, they were a lot more specific. They weren't as general as they were previously. It was things like, what do you think of this shot? What do you think of this sequence? How about this lighting style? What do you think of this lens choice? There were more technical references about like the nitty gritty of how we were going to achieve it than the general overarching feel references. So now the project was greenlit, it was time to sort all of the producery bits. So cast, crew, locations, how we were actually going to navigate around all of the logistics sticks, everything like that, which is fun. And I was actually achieving this through the very new age method of Instagram. You know, I was just putting out Instagram stories 
and the universe was providing. It's amazing what can happen if that message ends up in the right circles. You can land some absolute gems. I couldn't be happier with the locations that we got, but importantly, the crew and the talent that I got to work with was just... It's just the best. When you have such a solid team around you, it just... It makes projects so fun. And it was, it was honestly such a pleasure to be part of that team uh, and to work with everyone there. Just hugely talented people. Uh, and that is actually going to be the topic of the next video, the people. So this is part one of my three-part series on this commercial. Um, and the next one will be coming out soon. Uh, and I'll catch you in it. See you later. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Strange way to end it, but whatever.